Hello, welcome everyone. Today we will be talking on target digital marketing in this video. So let us understand what are we looking into it. It is your targeted marketing effort that you are potentially directed to your focused customer. Remember, this digital marketing allows your company to reach potential and probably the existing customer through ultimate bifurcation, segmentation, and completely laser-focused advertising. Customized advertising is what we can talk about it. We, When I say customized advertising, it is to individual traits that we would love to discover and we would have already discovered. And accordingly, we are going to target their sentiments. So this is basically studying their habits, their activities in an online platform, and then probably ensuring that our visibility of brand is much more accessible to them. So tar target digital marketing is an impression based advertising campaign that deploys digital ads to a combination of a lot of things. Let's say geofencing, let's say site retargeting, if I may say so, geo targeting, event targeting, search retargeting, email marketing, keyword targeting, contextual targeting. So this is what we are looking into it. What is geofencing? Probably a, a, a customer is used to a certain kind of a certain product, let's say. But this customer moves to a different uh, geographical location and that product is available to him also, probably in that particular place. But he or she is not aware where it is applicable or available. So that is what geofencing would be all about it. Geotargeting is all, all about ensuring that if in the vicinity, if there are certain products that is to his liking is available, it should be notified to him. And that is what we are looking at as in the site retargeting or an event targeting. Definitely, yes, on an event, you require a lot many periphery activities, periphery products, periphery services. Can we, avail, can we make them available or at least let the customer know that these things are available in the vicinity? And that is what we are looking at as, as far as contextual keyword targeting as the case might be. So yes, this is digital marketing that is ultimately focused on to an individual customer. Contextual targeting actually based on the habits of the customer that uh, probably if let's say if an individual customer is looking for a lipsticks, definitely yes, uh, we cannot show the lipstick advertisement and an educational channel or educational portal right probably that would be very bad but probably if it is in a marketplace i can show it to if it is in his or her uh, email probably i can retarget or contextually target or probably if he or she is browsing to certain things which are casual in nature probably not focused on to certain things probably that is where we can always make our pop-up come up into the site let's say uh, this customer might be looking or browsing for a movies or for a song where i can let's say contextually target the lipstick advertisement but probably when somebody is doing a research i cannot do it out there so this is what we are looking into it in terms of geo targeting geo fencing even targeting and site retargeting, keyword targeting, and contextual targeting, and definitely yes, search retargeting. So why go geofencing? Geofence fencing is an, your ideal customers on their mobile devices, based on the location, based on the location from where the the customer is moving around. So how does it help your business? This location-based services sends messages to the GPS-enabled services, uh, globally positional satellite services, enabled services when they enter a particular defined geographical area. We can also GFN's competitors at any location where potential customers may be and let them know about the availability of your product, your services. So how to get started? Select a specific area that you want to target based on the geographic location, zip code, city, and probably we will help you out to understand how to generate a campaign, how to ensure that maximum number of customers are made available or made aware of your product and services. So why does the company go for geofencing? Because it knows there are probabilities of having a business transaction in that location is very high. Even targeting is something which complements geofencing. Now, this is retargeting prospect which compared to a specific event. Let's say a festival. Let's say a family ceremony. Let's say a 
school ceremony you know for every ceremony these are events that goes around it right and probably we require to do or let's say we are going for a conference so we need a campaign which is 60 days prior to the conference and probably 15 days post the conferences so these are even targeting to generally make aware of the audiences or prospects about the event altogether so how does it help our businesses this is again a mobile based uh, messages which is sent to the GPS enabled mobile following the event continue the top of the mind recall factor that is what the awareness is all about it keyword targeting is using the viewers content relevant as in what do I type as in what do I search frequently most frequently probably I search offers in a restaurants or offers in drinks soft drinks hard drinks what is available the best places which is giving me the maximum discount or a particular cuisine that I'm looking for for example I might be in love with Mediterranean cuisine if that is what I'm looking into it so these are my keyword targeting that goes around it so how does this help your business if a potential customer is reading a particular article that includes such keywords which he or she is frequently utilizing we can target them we can target them in ensuring those keywords even if a user has come across this term without specifically searching them he can still be targeted so how to get started probably select a particular areas definitely yes where you want to your uh, would you like to target based on geographic location probably city code or zip code which will help you to focus on the keyword before you start beginning focusing on your target customer site retargeting is marketing to those who have been into your website every time and it is in your website uh, for example a customer walks through through your landing pages and probably after that he or she might be doing something else browsing somewhere also uh, also down the corner can your site be highlighted this this more the most common type of retargeting we can always have some cookies on stored into their laptops mobile through which this site retargeting can be done what does i what do you i want as a digital marketer i want the customer to come back to my landing pages my website and probably do some economic transaction out, out there so it helps the business by allowing the potential customer to visit your website and revisit your website to make a transaction the user usually responds to your, to your website and this is very very important because 97 percent of the first time visitor actually do not convert while site retargeting on an average 26 percent return to the website after leaving the website and that is what we should be looking forward to search retargeting what is the search retargeting allow the car target users who have recently searched a particular phrase particular keywords related to your brand probably it describes your brand it describes your product it describes your services so how does it help a potential customer online searches for ddust or probably regrin or even a competitor's brand these keyword searches indicate an interest to the particular type of product which probably you will be uh, making it available we can develop a list of search terms we would like to convert target deliver creative creative advertisements to attract the eyeballs of your customer probably which he or she might be searching at all so how to get started again with the mobile enabled devices with the gps messages if we can again particularly filter the zip code the city the location and probably the audience profile whom you want to target around it we can always go around it comes contextual targeting contextual targeting allows you to target your ideal customer based on their habits based on their activities on the net based on the taste and the preferences of the previous transaction that they have carried forward how does it help your business engage new customer by showing them the ads that resonates with the keywords they are already consuming contextual ads looks at the category completely or the keyword nicely to understand what the customer is preferring what the customer is actually searching you can always select those keywords define those things in your pages in your landing pages and probably it will come into your search engine so it helps you to focus narrow down onto your customer geo targeting is an ip 
internet protocol addresses this is the uh, three letter dot three letters dot three letters dot three letters word that comes around it or probably the last letter can be two also the numbers that we're talking about it but every website has a uh, has a uh, web addresses similarly everybody for example if i am to access or probably even if, if you have to access certain thing you, you are accessing the internet through an ip protocol that gateway that we are looking into it to match to a geographic location now this gateway can be defined based on a particular location and the target address can be mapped how does this helps your business allows your target customers or target web browser users to define within a specific geographic location as the case might be the most basic of marketing, digital marketing, or should I say targeted digital marketing, is email marketing, um, and it has been the it has been there for since ages, but still is one of the most powerful marketing medium because it generates a huge response with a relatively negligible cost. Email marketing is immediate and can be tracked. Our email marketing solution prob probably gives you. Uh, certain metrics, for example, has your email been opened? Did it went to the junk mail? Did, was the email was read through? Did any call to action button was handed over? So you can give get a lot of metrics based on which how you can design your email and probably email campaign. Select your target audiences, deliver your message directly into the inboxes, into your customers' inboxes. Choose professional from extensive databases. Sections might include the employee size, the sales volume, the job title, the geographic location. You know it and you will tell it. So services includes email list selection, response tracking, opt-out collections, email retentions, email list management, HTML, hypertext, machine language creation, deployment, tracking, expert consultation as the case might be. SEM is search engine marketing. One of the most prevalent and probably one of the most practiced types of digital marketing is SEM. It is pay-per-click or PPC as we generally call it. It's the process of gaining a website traffic by purchasing ads on your search engine, such as Google, probably Yahoo, probably Bing. You might set a monthly budget for your investment. So everybody who touches certain keywords, your website would come at the top of the search engine algorithms how do you do it probably with search engine marketing or you need to allocate certain budgets and that will be shown so how does it helps your businesses you will gain absolutely bigger visibility in turn it will garner a more traffic into your website as the case might be this is what we are looking into the traffic part the major search engine like google bing yahoo rank website based on the specific parameters they deem most important Everything was search engine marketing. Can we do it? Search engine optimization. This is the best tool when company tries to gain visibility organically. Now, this is what we need to know. We need to understand what are the keywords that the customer is looking in. Oh, what kind of profile the customer uh, is about our product, our service. Based on that, can we design a website? Can we ensure those keywords in our website, in our landing pages? Can we ensure the, uh, the loading content of the pages is very quick? Can we make a website as relevant as possible? In fact, making changes on, an, on a weekly basis, if not daily basis, ensuring that it is being searched time and again. So every time there's an organic search, it, your, your website comes, is ranked, in the very first way this is again again will give you visibility unlike search engine marketing which was paid for this is ultimate or ultimately invested upon you work upon it you decide upon the parameters and ensure that your search results your website search results comes higher in the uh, in the result part now then comes the campaign report now look what i have done i have given you a lot many metrics that comes around it from google this can be shown as to what are the metrics that have been there the metrics will help you to understand whether your marketing efforts are going on the right direction or not that is what we are looking into it to ensure that the effectiveness of campaign is crisp and maintained we would love all your websites to ensure the pixel that has been installed to access the google analytics account this campaign will give you detailed breakdown about how many people have been created or lead have been created how many people have actually been targeted how many people have been actually been engaged 
how many action button were taken and things like that so we will not sit until and unless these metrics helps you to understand where your marketing budget has been done for website design and development this is the website development project gains an understanding of your core objective business tool of each product and services that we offer after an extensive interview with each of the engagement your stakeholders a well thought out strategic plan navigation map has been framed and after final approval custom design or template design we embark upon it that is what how we develop a responsive website with this i come to an end of this presentation thank you for watching this video till the end